Hello everyone, this is our 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon diesel with 10,362 miles. Excellent shape. Very good condition. Front bumper looks awesome. Does have the steel front bumper. Fog lights. And of course the newer chassis Jeeps do have the LED daytime running lights and the HIDs. Very nice to have. Front trail cam. Really nice sage green paint. Looks really good. Not really any issues with the front end cosmetically, just there's a small blemish there. And I mean, really that's it. Seems to be possibly some mild discoloration on the bumper, but I feel like that could be restored. Driver's side front fender. No issues there. Front driver's side wheel and tire. Little Jeep Easter egg there. Driver's side mirror looks good. Front driver's side door. No issues. Rear driver's side door. Small mark there. But otherwise perfect. Driver bedside. No flaws, looks excellent. Rear driver's side wheel, looks perfect, no issues. Walking around the back, top of the bumper guard is in perfect condition, no flaws there. This has some tow hooks on the back, trailer hitch receiver. Tailgate looks perfect, no flaws, no issues. Does have a backup camera there. Here in the tailgate though, the actual tailgate itself, you can see it's a little bit eaten up here in the top and some of the paint has been worn. Um, it's pretty generally scratched up. Nothing super serious, but just the paint has been scratched as you would imagine, you know, a truck bed gets used and the paint doesn't really hold up to abuse super well. Um, so that's, it is what it is, I suppose. Pretty common in uh, trucks that are used for truck stuff. Looking at the passenger side rear quarter panel, do have some scuffing there along the uh, passenger side rear over fender. But other than that, it looks fantastic. Rear passenger wheel. Looks really nice, no issues. Rear passenger door, no flaws. Front passenger door, no flaws. Front passenger mirror, we do have some discoloration there. Some rock chipping on the front and very, very light scratching on the side here. Very light, difficult to see. Front passenger fender. Looks excellent, no issues. And the front passenger wheel looks really nice as well. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight and scene if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you're on the vehicle yourself. It helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you more accurate representation of the overall condition of the vehicle. Hopefully I've done that. In my opinion, this is a super clean Gladiator. Really nice, very low miles. Really nice paint code, and the paint is in excellent condition, save for the bed, but honestly, who cares about that? Uh, here on the interior, do have Black interior with some components leather, red contrast stitching, power locks, power mirrors, twilight sensing headlights. Uh, in the bed on the passenger side, we do have a 115 volt uh, plug-in. Manual seats, they are leather though. Rubicon embroidered on the backs. All weather Jeep floor mats. Push button start. 
fires right up diesel v6 is eager to start we've got no warnings or issues on the gauge cluster everything is good to go you can see there at the bottom we're at 10,363 miles we do have adaptive cruise and bluetooth controls here on the steering wheel dual zone automatic climate control one touch windows in the front we do have various media receptacles i.e usb-c usb-a and three and a half millimeter auxiliary we do have a sway bar disconnect and uh, differential lock electronic differential lock navigation the dash looks great the audio sounds really nice front passenger seat looks good passenger door panel the interior is in virtually new condition uh, no marks no wear on anything there's no telltale signs that the vehicle's ever been driven really zero faults on the interior frameless auto dimming rear view mirror uh, side mirrors are heated auto dimming and do have blind spot assist which is quite a lot going on for a jeep jeeps are not typically known for their creature comforts but they're doing a lot better about that and back seat looks really nice no signs of anyone ever even sitting back there there's no wear or anything two-piece vinyl floor mat for the back help keep the back clean eight speed automatic which is new for this chassis they used to just have really junky five speed that like to fall apart this new eight speed means business and uh, helps with fuel economy not to mention the v6 turbo diesel under the hood produces a monstrous amount of torque and an equally monstrous amount of fuel economy and practicality and reliability A lot of things I know I'm really talking it up, but if you look at the reviews for these Jeeps that do have the diesel engines, um, they're ideal for a lot of different things for a lot of different reasons. Um, if you're wanting to go overlanding and rig your Jeep down with a lot of stuff, camping gear, etc., it handles the weight very gracefully with the torque of the diesel engine. If you're wanting to put a lift kit and big old knobbly tires on your Jeep, the torque from the diesel will handle it a lot more gracefully. And having that eight speed transmission helps significantly as well. So here's the three liter eco diesel, humming away quietly and contently. Uh, this engine for being a diesel, not very clattery at all. It's very refined, very smooth and quiet. It sounds great. It's, uh, it's surprisingly refined for what it is, considering they stuffed a uh, light duty diesel truck engine into a Jeep, you'd think it would be a lot more rough, but uh, the idle is very smooth on the inside, very quiet. So the diesel is definitely great. Oh, also um, between the fuel tank capacity and the fuel economy, if you are going overlanding or on a long trip, which these Jeeps are great for, you can go way, way further in the diesel than you can its v6 gasoline counterpart um, not to mention if you have the hemi you're definitely going to be driving past way more fuel stops than they will so this jeep is super practical really reliable it's uh it's specked out very nice and it's just ready to be enjoyed there's not much left to say about it so that is our 2021 jeep gladiator rubicon if you have any further questions please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exotic motorsports okay Thank you for watching.